it is nothing new that journaling is talked about absolutely anywhere and everywhere these days. You hear people say how good it is to detox your thoughts for mental clarity. I'm sure I'm not the only one to admit that this seemingly straightforward activity is actually really difficult. And I have been on a journey with journaling. It's most definitely been a love-hate relationship. But I tell you now, my friends, it is true. And I never thought I would get to this point or even say this, but journaling has genuinely changed my life. And so in this video, I want to share with you some really, really simple tips if you too are a journal skeptic like I was and really want to give this a go to the point that you'll actually see the benefits and maybe, just maybe, even begin to like it. First and foremost, experiment with journaling styles and techniques. So I think when we first think of journaling, we initially think of sitting in a really quiet, dimly lit room and our uncontrollable hand will just write this perfectly scripted novel. But thankfully in this day and age, there are so many other techniques that we can use. We can write it physically with a pen and paper. We can do it on our phones or even voice notes. And my first tip would just be to practice all these different techniques, writing something down, pen and paper, traditional sense, or just something really, really quick on your phone. If you're a super speedy texter like myself, this is one thing that has definitely helped me. Second tip is to start really small. Just start with one sentence per day. That's all you have to do. And if you're struggling with what to write, I always like to use the fat, Feeling, action, thoughts. What am I feeling right now? What action have I taken today? And what thoughts am I having right now? Or have I had throughout the day? And whatever those may be, jot them down. But even if you don't know what to write, literally write, I have no idea what to write right now. And this is one of my journal entries. I have no idea what to write. This feels so awkward and uncomfortable. Holly, I've proved you wrong. Next tip is to refer to yourself in the second person. And this is super helpful because it really separates yourself from your thoughts. And it's just almost like looking at yourself as a character of a book and able to see things with more clarity and rationality and just also give yourself a little bit of empathy and a bit of a break when you're not feeling your best or going through a difficult day. And my final tip is to give it time. And of all the tips that I've given, this is probably the most important tip to be patient and give it time. The best way of actually feeling the benefits is to allow it to come naturally and when you feel comfortable to. But when I just allowed myself to think, actually, I'm in a difficult moment right now, or I'm feeling really good, or I'm feeling a bit down, I would just write it out. And if you're someone who traditionally would want to projectile, verbal vomit everywhere. <laughs> this is genuinely a game changer. When that click happens, it is so cathartic. And it's actually so fun to just look back at how you were feeling during particular moments. And sometimes it's even comical. I think honestly, some of my best moments are when I've looked back at a journal entry and I thought, Holly, how are you thinking this? How on earth did you get yourself in that situation? Honestly, journaling has genuinely changed my life. It's just something I only wish I'd have started sooner. If you're new to journaling or you are a journaling skeptic like I very much was, I challenge you at the end of this video to get started and simply just write a sentence. So I hope you found this video helpful and I would love to know your experiences and thoughts on journaling below because I know everyone is different, so I'd love to hear your perspective on it. If you like this video and content like this, please consider subscribing and join our little community. I really appreciate you all taking the time to watch this video and support this channel. Wishing you a happy and peaceful day wherever you may be, and I will see you again very soon in my next video.